What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing great throughout this trying times. And I just kind of want to make this video today out of just frustration. Um, as some of you guys might have heard is that uh, the they have officially run out of money for the PPP program, which you're not familiar is a payment protection program where you could have a certain amount of funds um, you know, forgiven for you to keep your business going. And that was something that, you know, we were relying on along with the EIDL. Um, you can lo no longer apply for that online either. And it's just frustrating because, you know, we went through all the right processes of filling these things out very quickly, getting all of our paperwork uh, ready, hiring an attorney to help us get all the paperwork ready to then hearing these things on television, talking about that, you know, that just contact your bank and, you know, they'll be able to help you. But something that they didn't talk about on television was that, you know, there's a lot of, you know, speculations with the banks in the sense of like, for a lot of the banks that did have these loans available, you'd have to have a, ch a business checking account with them before February 15, 2020. So for us, they left us with one bank and that's who we bank with. It was Capital One. And until today, I have not been able to talk to anyone there or heard back uh, from my inquiries towards the PPP. Uh, we ended up also reaching out to TD Bank um, to do something with them and, you know, never heard back from them. And this whole time of having, spending all the time putting that paperwork together, it, it was just frustrating to turn on the news today and see, you know, that they're out of money. And I guess the thing that's more frustrating for me is knowing other local businesses here that are doing you no know, fairly well right now, pretty much no difference to their business with the impact of what's happening, getting approved for these loans. And, you know, the frustration of like, you know, I've heard so many people that applied for these loans and applied for the help when they didn't need help, but applied because of the concept that it was free money. And, you know, for someone that's trying to grow their business and having, you know, almost $25,000 of projects being pulled away from you or being put on hold and having credit card payments that are due and, you know, having to dig into your own personal financing to be able to cover those costs is really frustrating. You know, the whole process of, you know, being an entrepreneur, signing up for, you know, the the payroll, the um, unemployment stuff for the first week and a half, I couldn't fill out those things because I was scared of the wording they used in there because I was self-employed and, you know, having any guidance on, you know, how to fill out those things. It's really frustrating when, you know, you're not seeing that money come in and you hear about all these different people that are just in great situations and they're already getting this money. The same thing for the stimulus check, you know, logging on, doing all the, the stuff and not getting my stimulus check and seeing all these other people. And I call them in great conditions. I mean, you can't really tell what conditions people are in, but man, it's frustrating. So... You know, there's really nothing much that I can do about that other than just keep doing what I'm doing with my business. But I feel like a lot of you guys might be in the same situation as me. So I just want to tell you guys about what I've been doing to prepare myself for this. First of all, I am holding on to all of my cash. Um, all of my cash, I'm holding on to it as long as I can. I'm making every purchase possible that I can on credit cards. Um, I'm finding out which one of my credit cards have the lowest, the lowest interest rates. And then I'm also contacting all my credit card providers and asking them to defer my payments for at least two to three months as we're able to catch up. And through that, right now, I'm kind of just spacing them out throughout like, hey, which one do I need to get? Which one needs to get paid in two months? Who needs to get paid in three months? And I'm pretty much budgeting those out to give me some sort of leverage I was pacing all those credit cards, so I have a little bit of breathing room. Now, it's really easy for you to do this. You just gotta call your bank, tell them you've been affected by the COVID and that you're asking for some sort of assistance and if they could defer your payments. Uh, I was lucky enough with my first credit card. They gave me, they deferred me for two months 
did not charge any interest. And this is something else. Not everyone's doing it anymore because everyone's asking for this. But uh, ask them if it, they, you know, could remove the interest part because a lot of credit cards are charging you 17 to even 25% of interest. And, you know, if you have a $2,000 bill and you're going to get charged 500 bucks the next month on interest, like that's fucking crazy when you're not making any money. Like it, it, it's ridiculous to me. Um, so see if you can get that deferred. Make sure that they're not going to put this on your credit, that you're going to be, that you're going to stay current. Um, you know, these are all things that you just have to be able to negotiate with them on. Not everyone's doing that, but that's something that really helped out. Um, I also contacted my cell phone company uh, to see if they can, what they could do. Uh, you know, pretty much I'm trying to, you know, free up as much cash as possible. So I contacted the cell phone company. I contacted my car payment. They pushed my payments back all the way to September, which is awesome. Um, paying very little interest on that. So I'm okay with that. Um, and then they'll talk to your landlord. You know, I'm lucky enough that I live with someone that's pretty cool and they're be being very flexible with me and not everyone's in that situation. So I know these are trying times for a lot of people, but honestly, I wore the shirt. It says no one cares at all. And I think it's pretty funny because it just, it's kind of how you feel on a situation like this, because, you know, you're sitting here waiting for the government to help you because you know you're doing all the right things and you pay your taxes and then you have this type of occasion where you know this free money system that they're telling you to just go on the website and apply and it's not that simple it's like hey go look at these banks and you know go apply through them when you get to these banks oh well you have to have a business account with us before you know february 15 2020 for you to be able to apply or we're gonna, you know, serve it to these other people later. So it's like it just doesn't seem fair, and it was just so frustrating. And honestly, I just needed, you know, to to vent um, because it's tough. It's it's really tough. But I know a lot of you guys are probably going through the same thing. So the only thing I could tell you now is like, you know, hold on to your cash as long as you can. Uh, if you have credit cards, try to utilize them. I'm not saying get yourself into credit card debt. If you're smart with it, you know, in, you know, you know, the things that you're able to do, um, don't get yourself down a hole, but you know, these are tough times and you gotta be smart about your money. Um, and there's also hard being on the you no know, production side of things where you're limited to the, the type of jobs that you can do and the kind of work that you can. Then you have people trying to take advantage of that and wanting you to, you know, do a lot of work for very little money because of the situation. And, you know, it kind of puts you against the wall. So stay positive, guys. Work on the things that you didn't have time to. You know, I'm trying to make more YouTube content now just because of this. That's something that I'm passionate about. But, um, you know, just stick to it. Um, no, let me know how you guys are dealing with this. Uh, I love to know if there's anything that I could possibly do to help. Um, you know, I'm not making money, so I can't give you any money. But if you want to talk, holla at me, man. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace.